let's solve this problem 250 in this problem it is said that calculate the moment of 90 newton force about point o for the condition when theta is equal to 15 degrees right and further it is said that also determine the value of theta for which the moment about point o is zero and maximum right so first we will solve this part a right so in part a we are required to find the moment of this force about point o so for part a we will use the Varignan's theorem so we will resolve this force into its components right so it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction right so then uh, this this one will be the cos component right so this will be 90 cos of theta and theta is given which is uh, 15 degrees right so this is 90 cos of 15 degrees and this one is the sine component right so we will write that this is 90 sine of 15 degrees so now the moment at point o will be equal to so this 90 cos of 15 degrees 90 cos of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point o is 600 mm right so we will multiply this with 600 right so this is the moment arm the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point o and similarly the perpendicular distance of this component from that point o is 800 mm right and let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so uh, as we can see that this 90 cos of 15 degrees is producing the counterclockwise moment right so this is positive and as we can see that this uh, sine component is producing clockwise moment about that point a so we will write minus and that will be 90 sine of 15 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point o is 800 right so we will multiply this with 800 so from this equation we get this uh, 33525 newton mm right so when we s divide this by 1000 so then the moment at point o equals to 33.53 newton meter right so this is the solution of part a now uh, in part b it is said that find the value of theta for which the moment about point o is equal to zero right so let us consider that part b so if if the moment about point o of this force is equal to zero so then the line of action of this force must pass through that point o right so then if i draw that force in this free body diagram so then this force must must pass through that point o so then this should be the direction of the force and this should be the angle theta of this force or let's say this is this should be the angle alpha of this force right so then if this is alpha so then this angle should also be alpha as both of these angles are alternate angles right so now from this triangle we can find this alpha angle right so if we consider this triangle let's say if we consider this triangle so then this length is given which is 600 right and this length is also given this is 800 right so now from this triangle we can find this alpha if we apply 10 alpha so 10 alpha will be equal to this 600 mm divided by 800 mm and if we take 10 inverse so then 10 inverse 600 divided by 800 and this gives us the angle equals to 36.87 degrees right so when the moment of this 90 newton force equals to zero so then this force must pass through that point o and in that case this uh, theta angle should be equal to 36.87 now for part c if the moment of this given force is maximum about that point o so then this force must be perpendicular to this point o right so let's say that this is that force now right so this force must be perpendicular with this o a arm right and then this force must be making this much angle with the vertical right this angle theta right since we are required to find the angle with the vertical axis right so then this should be the angle of this force and this force f must be perpendicular with this oa arm right so in in this case this f need to be perpendicular with that oa arm so then we will be having maximum moment of this given force about that point o right so in this case if if this angle is alpha and this force is perpendicular to this and if we draw a line 
this line horizontal line so this line is perpendicular with this line this particular line right so this means that if this angle is alpha so then this angle is also alpha right and if we complete this triangle if we complete this triangle right so then if this is that force f and if this angle is alpha so then this should be 90 degrees and this angle should be uh, 180 minus theta right both of these angles are supplementary angle right so if this angle is theta so then this should be 180 minus theta and the summation of all the angles of a triangle are equal to 180 degree right so we can write that this alpha plus 90 degrees and plus this angle right so that angle is 180 minus theta and this should be equal to 180 degrees right so this 180 will be cancelled out and then we can say that alpha plus 90 degrees minus theta should be equal to 0 and we can say that alpha plus 90 degree equals to theta or we can say that theta equals to alpha is uh, 36.87 plus 90 degrees right so this should be the angle theta of that force when the uh, when it is producing the maximum moment about that point o so for the third case theta comes out to be 126.87 so this is the solution of this particular problem